A grand jury says it's seen enough evidence to send eight of the former Phi Gamma Delta members charged in a hazing case to a possible trial. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Marissa Holloway. The October 21st incident left freshman pledge Danny Santulli disabled. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from the Boone County Courthouse over uh, after going to the hearing for one of the 11 total people charged. And Layla, what can you tell us about where the hazing case stands for the students? Yeah, Marissa Lucas. So I was in court today and attorneys on both sides said they were not yet ready to set a trial date for Thomas Schultz. Now he was one of the first ones charged and on Friday a grand jury went through evidence for some of Schultz's co-defendants who were also charged with felony hazing and he, they decided that there was enough evidence to go to trial. According to court documents I got my hands on today, Benjamin Charles Parez, Benjamin Carl, Samuel Morrison, Harrison Reichman, Samuel Gandhi, John Jack O'Neill, Blake Morsovillo, and Samuel Lane have been indicted by a grand jury in the Danny Santulli hazing case. Court documents show a Boone County grand jury found each defendant acted alone or with others and knowingly participated in a willful act against Danny Santulli, knowing that Danny would be supplied with alcohol and encouraged to consume excess amounts of alcohol. Prosecutors charged those eight with felony hazing in July and a grand and jury indicted them on Friday. Felony hazing carries a sentence of up to seven years. Three others, Thomas Schultz, Ryan Delante, and Alec Wetzler, were charged in June. Wetzler is charged with two misdemeanor charges and has not yet been indicted. Thomas Schultz was in court today and a grand jury indicted him with felony hazing, felony evidence tampering, and giving alcohol to a minor. Schultz's attorney said in court today he wanted to wait until they could talk to a member of MU's disciplinary staff before picking a trial date. A Greene County jury will hear his case in Columbia. And Alec Wetzler is set to be in court tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Layla, thank you. Benjamin Carl 